guys, it's Lily and Lamore here with Tribe 3 Productions. I am in the lovely town of Wilmette at the Wilmette Theater for the screening for the documentary, Holy Ground. And um, this is a great film to check out if you want to know, learn a little bit about the uh, development of Chicago and uh, the development, the parallel development of the Catholic Church. Uh, you could check out my uh, review of this film on the Tribe 3 Productions site under the blog section for Lily and Likes, uh, where I do a lot of different uh, film reviews. This was my first documentary film review. And uh, so there, uh, there's a couple more screenings. So you can check out um, the pages for um, this film to find out where you can see it next. You can find me on Facebook under my uh, name, Lillian Lamore. Same thing with Instagram and Twitter and on the Tribe 3 website under Lillian Likes. Thank you guys. <laughs>
Yeah, that's what I, I, I learned a lot of things when I watched it. And one thing that struck me, I, I really liked the the music, how it was a blend of, um, you know, orchestral, chor- you know, chorus type of singing and then also Native American chants. I thought that was a beautiful blend to just to showcase the history of Chicago and its ties with Native Americans and uh, the Catholic Church. I thought it was interesting. It's a very interesting history, and I think every Chicagoan would enjoy seeing this tapestry come to life of how the Native Americans and the Europeans, you know, traded. And then there was the Battle of Fort Dearborn, and then there was these negotiations, and Billy Caldwell comes into play, and so many interesting characters from history are addressed, and it's a fascinating history. Yes, I, I really enjoyed it. So I so where can we what what's next for you? What what's your next project? Well, for this film we have two more screenings. One is on February twelfth at St. Mary of the Woods, and then February eighteenth at St. Lambert. So we have two more screenings for people to see. And then we are looking to get it onto a platform. Um, I have some ideas. I would love to see it on PBS or something like that. Um, we'll see how that goes. It definitely will be available for streaming at some point, whether that's free and online or if, whether it's on TV, I don't know. But we hope to get a, a great audience for it. That actually was going to be my next question of uh, where can the people see it now? They can come to the screenings. So it's not officially um online for just the average person to see but it hopefully will be in the future right it sounds like it definitely will be um we'll see what happens in the next couple of months um but stay tuned mm-hmm. come to the screenings you definitely uh, won't yeah. be disappointed it's interesting if you've lived in chicago if you're from chicago if you've just visited it's a very interesting history so where can we find more of you or what are your uh, social media Uh, handles, I guess, so that uh, the fans can keep up with your work. I'm at Marla Seidel on Instagram and Facebook. And that's about it. But that's where you can find me. All right. Well, this is Marla Seidel. And she was wonderful to interview. Thank you so much. Thank you. (laughs)